So our project has restarted. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our um, survival game kit v2 version. And in here, we're going to just right click our main project folder, hit the migrate option. This might take a second. So once our project's restarted, we can head back over to our uh, survival game kit project and uh, right click the main project folder and we're going to select migrate and we're going to hit OK and you're going to want to find your uh, project that you're migrating to it to. So mine's in my Unreal project and then uh, the your project, select the content folder and then hit select folder. This might take a second to just uh, copy over the files. So once that's done, we can go to our new project and you can see we've got our uh, um, Survival Game Kit 2 in here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our project settings and um, we're going to make a few changes. So we're going to want to find our game instance and our game instance class, we're going to need to change to the Survival Game instance. Next, we're going to go to Maps and Modes, and we're going to change the default game mode to the uh, Survival Game Kit mode. This might take a second for it to uh, select. Once the game mode's set, um, we can look at the uh, default maps. Now, by default, Survival Game Kit has a main menu, uh, so if you want that to be sort of the, the start-up um, thing when your game starts. We're going to need to set the um, default map to the, uh, let me see, the main menu uh, level. Um, and you can do the same for editor startup map as well. Um, but I personally like to just set this to the showcase. That way when you hit play uh, when you're in the engine, you don't have to go through the main menu, it just puts you in the level. Um, and then the transition map, we have a transition map we can set that to and then server default map um, I would set at showcase but if you have your own level you're working in you may want to set it to that instead the same goes for the editor if you have your own level you might want to set it to that instead next up we need to set our um, collision settings now there are two ways to do this um, you can see there's an import and export button up here in the corner uh, what we can do is export the collision settings from the um, Survival Game Kit project and import them straight in. That way um, you don't have to manually do it. The only thing that that does is if you have existing um, collision uh, things being used in your project, it, it will uh, write over all of those, so it will completely replace them. Um, so, if But if you don't care about that, then you can just... Um, I'll quickly show you. You can um, go to the project settings in uh, Survival Game Kit uh, when it loads up and go to Collision here, export, export it to uh, wherever you like, say so desktop, and then um, in our um, project, new project, we can import it um, from the desktop. So we'll search for Collision and open it. Um, there is a bug where you have to restart this, so if I restart it, it all should show up. Go to collision. You can see I've got all of my collision settings now. Um, if you do have your own collision settings already that you don't want to be overwritten, you will have to go through and manually add each one of these um, object channels and trace channels. You'll also have to then go through all of the presets um, and set their settings like they are set in the uh, survival game kit um, by default. Um, it's a little bit long-winded, but it's the only way to um, add these without overwriting anything you already have. Next up, we've got the um, inputs. Um, this is, again, very similar to the collision um, setup, where we can import all of the um, key inputs from our default survival game kit project. Um, again, that will completely wipe any um, existing keybinds. Oh, I'm in the wrong project, sorry. 
any existing keybinds that you already have in your project. I don't have any in this project because it's a blank project, but you may have some of your own. Um, if that's the case, again, you'll have to manually go through and add each one of the key inputs yourself, um, making sure that when you do that, you keep the names exactly the same. Um, and obviously you'd want to keep the keybind the same. Um, or you can, like we just did with the um, collision, we can hit export in the survival game kit project. Uh, we'll just export it to the desktop. So I'll save it there. Then if I go back over to my, uh, my project, my new one, I'll hit import and I'll just go to my desktop and I'll search for inputs and open up the inputs. And you can see if I click it now, we've got all of these uh, default inputs. So it's really up to you which way uh, you go about it, um, but those are the two ways you can do it. So once that's done, there's a few things that we wanna check that can get changed when you migrate a project. So um, we'll go to our uh, main folder, then blueprints, components, and we'll find our uh, player inventory component here. Open this up. Uh, bring that over here and once we're in here we can go to class defaults and we're going to search for trace and you're going to want to make sure that interaction trace channel is set to interaction um, if it's not uh, you can just click the drop down and select it or if it says something like e max or something like that um, make sure you do select interaction um, another one we want to go to is uh, blueprints items uh, holdable items then to our master range weapon and again in class default search for trace and make sure that the uh, trace channel is set to weapon so once we've done that there's a couple of other places that uh, we need to check so the next one is in the master melee weapon so we'll just open that up and in the class defaults we can just search for trace oh, trace and then uh, melee trace channel needs to be set to weapon as well. So that's uh, all okay. Um, next, we'll go to um, blueprints and we will go to our components. We want to find the uh, player building component here. And we'll just bring that over to here. And again, in class defaults, I'm just gonna search for trace. And you need to make sure that the grid trace channel is set to grid. Um, again, this could change, but it should be set to grid all of the time. Um, and that should be all of the uh, trace channels um, that you need to check. So we've pretty much done everything now, so I can quickly test this to make sure everything's working. Um, I'll open up at the uh, main menu level. And we can just hit play, and our uh, menu's loading up just fine. I'm just gonna uh, open a world quickly and you can see that we've gone straight in and uh, we've got our character working. Um, we can interact with things, um, pick things up. Well, we don't have enough space for that one, but we can pick things up and uh, everything seems to be working. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, that's how you correctly migrate Survival Game Kit to another project. Um, I am gonna do a separate video on how you can change the uh, ca uh, character blueprint um, so if you have an existing character blueprint, um, you'll be able to follow uh, that video um, to get Survival Game kept working with a, a new character. But um, that's pretty much it for this video, so thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and um, thank you for watching.